let me check the audio now can you hear me now can you hear me now yeah ranjit uh... super cool ai shakti so the session will be stopped another 5 to 10 minutes uh, because no more people need to come and joining here cool So this is the first time I'm doing a uh, Facebook live. Uh, I'm still getting nervous. <laughs> so Satyam Sundar Panda, how are you started your career? Um, actually, I done my MFA. I am a Master of Fine Art student. Uh, I'm a painter. So after my post graduation, I joined in Studio A. In the initially I joined as a I was a graphic designer in the studio A. slowly I learned photo editing and slowly I edit, uh, learned uh, photography that's how I started Hello guys. So this session will be Tamil and English um, because I am based on Chennai. Uh, yeah. Hi Anish. Kali Rajan, I'm from Chennai. So Pratap Naidu asking uh, what's in your bag? Uh, so basically, I'm I'm using two bodies, uh, A7 Sony A7 a three and uh, Godax uh, Godax V1 flashes and two Godax V1 flashes and trigger. And I I will be using 85 mm uh, and 1635. This is the most favorite lens. What are the best lighting equipment for bridal portraits? Any suggestions of box? So right now I am using a Godox 80 centimeter soft box with a V860 flashes. So for a wedding, you just uh, carry the minimum equipment, not a uh, heavy, heavy equipment. Just carry the minimal equipment. So how many years you're working in studio? Uh, I'm a first employee of studio A. Mm. I'm almost nine years, nine years I'm working in Surya. Maybe I'll, hello Lucky, looking for your creative workshop. So, sure. 
Wow, super. Sure, anyway. Definitely we'll do a workshop. We'll conduct a workshop. Shiva, I bro, monster lighting teach me pananga. Kandi panga. So workshop plan pani drugo. Kandi pa workshop plan panada kapro. Ongle solro. Thank you, Shiva. So wait for a few more minutes. Uh, then let's start it. So before start the session, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Ramanji and uh, Ish. Special thanks to Ranjit, make me do this the live, and Nikita Distributors and the entire uh, Godax team. Thank you so much. Pradap Naidu, oh, super. So you was in a Silva Lightroom session, right? Oh, cool. So Kali Rajan, are you taking any interns? Right now, we're not taking any, any interns. Um, we'll post up soon. Actually, you can check out our website. Uh, there is a menu. Uh, you can check out. Uh, is there any internship available? You can go and check and fill the form. You can touch with us. Hi, Nicole. Yeah, Ranjit, I will start in a minute. Super. Deepak Jaiswal, uh, good evening, sir. You always using off camera flash at the wedding. Depends uh, if there is a night, uh, if there is a nice natural light, I'll be using a natural light. Uh, there is no light, definitely, I'll be using a off camera flash. Call it as yes, uh, studio.amaramesh.com. MD Russell, uh, wedding photography like uh, Godax AD600 or Godax V1K. So, wedding definitely go with uh, Godax V1. If you're shooting any portraits, uh, outdoor locations, then you can use the AD600. Otherwise, carry the minimal like, equipment for the wedding. Thank you so much, Archana. Definitely. You can follow me on Instagram, Lucky Cluster, L U C K Y L C L U S T E R, Lucky Cluster. Okay, guys, uh, let's start the session. So, today I'm going to show deconstructing portraits. A uh, few portraits, uh, I will be showing a few portraits from weddings and as well as studio portraits also. Um, so before I start the session, I, I let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Lakshmanan. I am a wedding photographer from Chennai. Um, 
basically i am a painter uh, i i am a painter i initially i i was a graphic designer in a studio mm. so 9 years back i was joined as a gra- graphic designer so now i am a lead photographer in studio um and also i am doing a backdrops uh, mizu backdrops for all the portrait photographers all the photographers you can check out the mizu backdrop site uh, you will get to know so the basically i am doing a hand painted backdrops for especially for all the photographers the first picture uh, this picture i shot recent time, uh, recently um, this one i shot in the hyderabad um, i use a two godax v860 one is for key light uh, one is for uh, rim light so key light coming from the right side and uh, i'll put on the rim light for the left side so most of time in the wedding scenario right i am mostly uh, before i am shooting the couple portraits i am scouting the venue so which place which location it's a perfect for a couple and where where is the light coming from so everyone i am scouting first then i'll place a subject and take a pictures uh, in this scenario um, the couple got delay so only i can shot in that stage scenario only so so luckily we have a nice decor setup um and the bride outfits and uh, the background also very 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 blend similar color also right so basically the whole idea is uh, i want to make a sitter in the middle and uh, the circle thing right that you can see the background flower circle right so put it in the middle and basically i'm focus on the uh, symmetry the whole scenario let me show the bts for this picture you can easily get to know so one godax with a soap box that is my key light so another godax from the left side right that is with a gel, yellow gel and that is for a rim light it's give a nice separation from the background and subject So in a wedding, I'm I'll be using a two bodies. One is uh, with uh, 1635, another lens is uh, 85 mm. That is my equipment for a wedding. Quickly, let me go go through the comments. sakti how do you continuously improve yourself in the photography industry uh this is a uh, basically i am i will i will be doing a more practice in my house man um so whenever i get chance i'll do a practice i'll take a some pictures with my family and basically i will observe the light start seeing the light first then i will Uh, observe everything what is the light uh, what is the highlight what is the mid tone what is the shadows everything i will observe then i will do a that is my exercise is there any problem of camera flash while shooting high speed sync no i didn't get any problems of problem kind of like this satyam sundar uh, key light with uh, any modifier yeah you can use any modifier so basically i am using the godax 80 cm octa box that will be perfect for weddings that is a very small one hi lakshman good evening can you please explain how 
did you develop your thought process wedding portraits as well as what are the things would you suggest other improve the skills so the simple trick uh, guys uh, everyone please understand uh, the lighting the lighting you can't learn lighting in the one day it's it's a big process right uh, so you have to observe the light first um, so uh, my you always ask ask yourself are you observing light in your daily life that is very very important you have to observe the light in your daily life wherever you go if you see any spot good spot light shadows play anything if you seeing anything good scenario you have to stop and observe the light so that is my exercise i am always doing like this in my phone i will take a thousand thousands of images random images sometimes i will take a nice portraits in the natural light sometimes i will take a nice uh, landscape pictures sometimes nice shadows uh, shadows pattern in the picture so so best things you have to start seeing the light first and observe and, and do a practice Satyam Sundar, uh, what light you used? I'm using a Godox V860 and uh, Godox V1 and Godox 8600. 8600 mostly I'm using your studio portraits only. So I'm a uh, Kali Rajan. I'm a Sony Sony user, so I don't know Nikon D750. Bagiraj Master Series is super. Thank you so much. The continuous light is the BTS. So that is a decor light. Uh, that is a ambient light. So I'm killing the ambient light all the time. Okay, I will show another picture. Next picture. So in this picture, uh, I shot in the groom's house. The groom's house was very small uh, in the Vizak. So this one I shot in the two years back. Um, so uh, in the house, so cluttered. Uh, so so many things in around the groom, TV. Uh, basically, it's a very very small place, and I want to create a drama. I want to create a, create a, some dramatic pictures in this room. So what I plan. Uh, I took a two flashes. One one is a one one flash with a blue gel and another flash is a, with a yellow gel. Um, one flash put it behind the groom and make a hollow effect. Basically, the whole idea is making a silhouette shots, right? Um, basically, uh, I'm put a flash behind the groom and blue with a blue gel and another flash is I am um, for the outfit. You can see the both light, right? so in my in my pictures all the pictures right i am i am adding the shadows so the shadows without shadows the drama will gone right so most of times i am adding the shadows so then we will get a dramatic pictures imagine the painting series right how the painter will do a paintings without shadows the painting will very flat right so that is my idea uh, i am always inspired from the paintings look at this picture this picture uh, i shot groom alone and bride alone um, now this i make it collage in together basically the whole idea is um, i i use a two lights for this picture okay one is a background i make it aiki shot i want to make it aiki shot and put a flash behind the subject and um, where i will place the subject um, in the room right so in the room the corner of the room how the wall will be in like a v shape right uh, i put a flash in the uh, towards the wall and why i am place the subject in the v shape corner because the light hitting on the wall right both the side will get a reflected 
each other right so that time you will get a more whites easily you can use it, you can try in the uh, plain wall also um, that time that case you have to use additional lights because some some places you can see the gradient darker scenario you will get a, some shadows in the background uh, again you have to post you have to remove the, all the shadows in the post right so so that's why i'm using the the corner of the room and the v you can see the v flat right v flat, v flat wall i'm put a flat uh, flash towards the wall i make it white and another light is a uh, little above from the subject face uh, like a butterfly lighting right uh, i'll get a nice dramatic pictures so look at this image um, again um, we are the photographer right so so always keep in your mind uh, before shooting the portraits or couple portraits you have to scout the venue first uh, what are the elements there what are the elements you can add in your frame so everything you have to find this shot i i shot in jodhpur uh, basically this is not a venue this is outer venue right um, i shot couple of shot done in the stage also so a uh, few shots in the outer venue um when i am scouting the venue uh, venue uh, i i like that i like that the spot um basically the dj guy and um, led screen guy will be sitting in this place so i found the place and um i can that time i thought i i got an idea okay here i will get a nice silhouette shot making silhouette shot uh and also you can see the boca right the foreground so that is a serial light you can see the tree leaf right here so the basically the light hanging on the trees so i'm using the boca foreground and make it interesting scenario so the behind the light is a led led light the decor person using the light right so the putting our light towards the wall side so i make i am use that light also so foreground is a boca and behind the subject the led light decor light so simple location we can create amazing pictures um, but we, your vision should be expand and your brain always always uh, do something so every, so that's why i am asking uh, i am asking guys uh, are you observing light in a daily life if you do a practice like this you can easily manage in the wedding scenario or portrait scenario so quickly let me go through the comments so how to uh, shiva again uh, how to balance available light and camera flashlight so shiva epime vandu ungalku enna na ambient light epdi irukku nu paakano and the ambient light ungalku evlo venu nradha neenga yosichu pannano so so adhe dhaan shutter speed um aperture neenga control panna kattukano appo dhaan vandu ambient light um flashlight power um ungala evlo dhooram kondu varundhu picture kudukka mudiyum nradha irukku okayla play with aperture and shutter speed while using off camera flash umesh uh, v1 on v1 which modifier is good uh, so now right now v1 we can't put in the modifier uh, because the round it right so we have adapter for that so ranjit will help you for that for v1 you have to use the adapter and then you can use the modifier
Tanu Data eyes uh, for uh, fashion photography. Which light for you recommended for beginner? Uh, for fashion, you definitely will go with a uh, Ace eighty six hundred Pro. Satyam Sundar, uh, how far was the flash from the wall and groom? Just uh, two three feet up. The groom standing two feet away from the wall. Yes, anyway, I used a grid for the outfit, which is a used a yellow gel, right? So that I that I'll use a grid grid. Sakti, are you using a Magmo products? Yes, I'm using a Magmo products. Mm. Achana Sundar, do you use any continuous light uh, like an LC500 getting ready shots? Any other places? Uh, yeah, I am using LC500. So, whenever I didn't get any time uh, in the short time period, right? So, that time I'll, I'll using a LCD a LC500 light only because the continuous light will help you and we can finish the live portraits in the within five to ten minutes. Right, it's a nice light. You can actually explore this light. Sagar, do you ever use on camera flash? I'm definitely I'll use an on camera flash while uh, cer while ceremony is going on. Um, so most of the time, my on camera flash, I'm bouncing the light. Get a big source of light. For on camera flash, I'll my flash tilted towards 90 degree towards the wall. I'll get a nice soft light. Can I give a detailed breakdown of a picture which helps understand the visions of workflow? Yeah, Rogit, I'll I'll do that. Arun Ravichandra Nana, how do you know about various modes, uh, speed lights? Since I'm started using off-camera flashes, so many modes and other. Uh, how to about how to know about even picture? Once again. Practice the flash important. Do you suggest any books, any sources? Or no? So Arun when the, the off-camera flash try and ring. So when the before off-camera flash try and a continuous light to conga or a subject in English at the or or subject when the Navanar claw or toy or claw either one or two or continuous light which is with you or light on the play panga. So, Naraya Vishan Katakla. At the cover slowly when the flash off camera flash of the Katakla, the Naraya tutorials YouTube Lurke Adilama um, Roboto Valenzola book of Padinga. So, lighting Katukuno Pina, Roboto Valenzola out of the books of Padinga. Definitely only helpful. Naraya YouTube beauty is Paranga. Raj and Kanan, for wedding ceremonies, which diffuser do you use when bouncing the light? Uh, for a wedding, mostly we're using a on camera flash. Uh, there is so much of colors on the decor, and that time I will be using a switch to off camera flash. Put a stand on a, one side near the mandapam, I'll be using off camera flash. Kalevan and uh, Roberto, 
go to watch uh, go to roboto valenzuela roboto is a photographer okay uh, we'll go to next picture so again simple location will create amazing pictures uh, look at this uh, scenario so this is a side stage almost a side stage you uh, you can see the the curtain thing right so the right side the grooms brides rooms okay so in this place i i want to create a, some dramatic pictures how will create it let me show the picture so this picture i shot this that locations only so same again one light for the key light for the groom uh, put with a diffuser with a modifier uh, another light is i put put on the chair the in the wedding the wedding hall you can see the plastic chair right so i am using the plastic chair for the creating this pattern you can see the pattern right the background so so that light is a bare bulb for the bride i'm using a flash with the bare bulb uh, pointing towards the chair so i'm creating the shad uh, shadows on the wall so for the groom i am using a one godax v1 a v860 flash with a modifier look at this location i shot this picture in this location so your eyes should be uh, your your previous relation should be more um, you have to think more so most of time we are giving excuse right uh, this wedding is a okay wedding it's a normal wedding uh, nothing interesting in the decor so all the photographer telling like this right so every wedding is a interesting weddings we have to create a amazing stuff right so that that whole thing you have to do a practice and create amazing stuff i shot couple of pictures one pictures like this one picture with the reflections uh, there is a mirror attached to the wall so i use that mirror as uh, getting a reflection so again same light setup one with the modifier the another light is with the bare bulb pointing towards the cha chair same locations so look at this picture uh this picture uh my favorite picture uh, i shot reason recently um i love this place i i shot in the vizag uh, i don't know the venue name so the lobby is area right so i love that place and the buddha and lamp everything i'm just i'm just using a one light put a light behind the subject that's all i make it uh, just give a nice backlight effect for the couple give a nice separation from the background and subject that's all um basically uh, this shot i will expose for the so this shot i expose for the background first first ambient light so if i expose the background the uh, the couple will be dark right so after that i will adding a one more light for the background the end the subject that's all Arun thanks a lot for your words i am mad on your lighting 
people know you definitely know your creativity in the lighting my inspiration in lighting is a definitely you thank you so much for the your suggestion on continuous light kandipa your words will thank you so much arun indranil what is the modifier again i am using a godax 80 cm octa box for a wedding for studio portraits i'll be using a p120l deep octa box parabolic Karthik Kishor, I know your work is really awesome. One question, especially during the Telugu wedding, we are too close to the groom and bride. How do you use flash so that surrounding and don't black? So I Karthik, uh, this uh, depends on the venue. Uh, Karthik, uh, if you don't want the low key shot, uh, you have to place the subject very closer to the wall. Uh, if you want any high key shot, yeah, you have to place. Uh, you have to put a light on the background. You get a nice, nice high key shot. Mm. In the real 80 centimeter modifier. Beautiful images. Thank you so much, Indranil. Ritesh, nice watch, sir. Thank you so much. Kalayvanan, bare bulb and flat head. What is the different? just reducing the power that's all um, if you're using a bare bulb you say you'll get a hot light so much of strong shadows uh, if you're using flat head you will get a you'll get a little bit light you can get a reducing the light super look at this picture uh, again this one i shot in the hotel um, so most of time we will wait we will be waiting for the outside the room right so that time i got an idea i got an idea this location mm, basically we will see the light and the beam light on the hotel hotel places right so we'll, we'll, they only focus on the the elements they're putting a light on the painting they're putting a light on the room's number right so i'm just using this those light um luckily i have a, this this composition luckily i have a, one painting hanging on the wall so i'm just get the dress hanging on the painting and ask her to bright stand in the uh, another light is so for a composition right you want to com uh, really want to learn composition you have to go street photography so if you going to street photography right so you you can learn so many things um leading lines pers perspective everything you can easily understand okay mm, because most of time the wedding time right sometimes we will we'll get stuck um, in the place we can't do anything right so so that time it will help you so you have to go street photography and learn com compositions so whenever i get chance i'll just go with the street photo so this is my one of favorite favorite pictures uh, last year december i shot this picture in the coimbatore um so in the leaf the leaf the sunlight falling on the leaf so i expose it for the leaf first and the subject will be dark automatically and put a 1v860 with a yellow gel behind the subject 
will get a nice separation from the background and subject. That's this is my favorite shots. I use a only one light setup behind the subject. Can you guess where the, where I shot this picture? So <clears throat> this shot I was uh, basically it's a backside backside of stage. Uh, mostly we are shooting in the stage on the stage, right? So this time I tried in the backside. Uh, basically uh, the the cable, the decor person, everyone sitting and sleeping here. So so when I am scouting the venue, right? So I just go back and uh, see the backside of stage. So there is so much of wires on the LED on the floor and, and luckily I found that the curtain, the LED lights are hitting on the curtain, right? So we will get a nice texture on the curtain like here, here, here. So I got an idea and create a one dramatic pictures for here. Again, you'll, I'll use a one backlight, a Godox V861. The whole idea is I'm making a silhouette shot with a nice texture on the wall, side wall. So literally, uh, the backside stage, we had a gap, only two feet gap. So I got this shot. So another getting ready shots. Uh, so the, the whole idea is, uh, our attention should be on the groom side. Okay, uh, basically the wall is totally white. Uh, the groom also wearing a white shirt. So how uh, I got an idea. So uh, I want to make it darker on the white wall. So I am put. I am use a Godax light, right? So put a yellow gel and make it the warm light, warm, warm light on the rooms. And another side is I used a Godax with a soft box for the groom, and make it a uh, get a soft light. So now our eyes goes to only the groom and then go to the outfit. Simple uh, white white wall. I make it a warm light and one light for the groom with a soft box. I got the shot. Quickly go through the comments. So, so those know how much flashlight density in this distance too. So it depends on the mood. So those know um, how much light, you, how much intensity, how much you need intensity for your subject. You have to increase the power and distance, everything. Uh, depends on the mood. It's not a two shot, it's a one single shot. So I will be using a Godax V1, V860. These are the flash I will be using. So happy to helping you for this shot now, awesome shot. Thanks, Nakul.
so mostly i will be shooting the auto white balance only in the post i will i will do anything because we are shooting the raw format right so mostly i will shooting the auto white balance yeah i'll be using two flashes okay quickly this shot i i shot in the last year uh, so we shot in the paris and uh, so again uh, again luckily we have a water in the flow so the whole idea is i'll i'll shoot the couple with the eiffel tower and with the reflections and also you can see the statue right from the right hand side so something they leading the line towards the the one perspective we'll get a nice our attention should be in the center of attraction right so everyone our eyes goes to first goes to the subject first for the shot i'll using one light 180 to 100 with the soft box single light setup the light coming from this side from the left side again this is also paris uh, louvre museum this is my favorite shot um so for the shot i'll using a two lights uh, one is for key light with a soft box and another light is i put a, put on the floor uh, for a, get a nice rim light for the edge with the yellow gel i use i used with the yellow gel so for this kind of shots you have to take a two shots uh, because uh, the light the light uh, the light stand will be here so we have to remove the light stand from this picture so we have to take a two shots and in the post we have to remove the light stand and again uh, while shooting the landscape right outdoor scenario right so we have to expose for the uh, landscape uh, sky and architecture you have to expose for the first and your subject will be dark and adding a one more light for a let the so most of time i am shooting a uh, shooting some reflection shots like this uh whenever i am seeing a paintings uh in the room right so i am trying to get a nice shots in the with the paintings uh same uh, this is a raja ravi verma paintings uh, the boy holding the chain right so the bride wearing the bangles thing i am shooting through the i am shooting through the paintings uh, and one put a one light for the bride godax 80 to 100 with a soft box that's all for this shot i am using a 1635 mm lens if i am using a 85 mm it's not won't work i'm using a wide angle lens i'll just make it full screen again another shot same i i used the only godax v860 flash for the dress so one of my friend holding the light behind the window i'm just shooting through the paintings this is a nice story you know uh, so the everyone is a bride bride mates like this and the uh, the bride outfits hanging on the door so it's it tells a nice story so another my favorite shot um
one second so this one i shot in the evening time uh, the sunset so first of first i'm framing for the subject and uh, the foreground is the boca right so the for the stones i'm just for the framing for, uh, i'm just taking a picture like this so suddenly the horse riders will coming and crash crashing crashing this way so i'm suddenly taking uh, multiple shots and uh, i'll be using a one godax 8200 with the barrel without any modifier for the let them couple you can see the small rim light that is a natural light that is the sun sunlight the key light is a godax 8200 i'm just mixing with the uh, natural light with the uh, artificial light the previous shot on this shot also i shot in the santorini so this is also my favorite pictures uh, because the um, the location will the background so white and the white flowers um it's so elegant right so i make it one shot like here again i am using i used a one godax 8200 with a bare bulb i get it's like a hard light picture So look at this picture. Uh, can you guess how well shot this picture? So this one is a vidai uh, vidai ritual. So the brides, uh, the mothers sending of the bride, right? Uh, so this one I shot in the front of the car. Okay, the door will open. One second. so the car door is open open right so i'll be just shooting through the window through the window my that time i using on camera flash my flash hitting on the car door right so hitting on the frame first so what will happened the light spilling somewhere okay so you can see the shadows on the bright face right that is a car door frame because the light not hitting on the face only the light hitting on the bottom and top i got this shot This is a on-camera flash. I love this picture because the red, the mood, everything is came out really well. And yeah, if I get a tears on the eyes, it will be more powerful. Anyway, it's nice. Quickly, let me go through the comments. Anyway, is the reflection from the glass on the painting? Yes. So aperture. Um, that shot uh the reflection shot i'll using a um, 3 to 3.5 to 4 because everything will be focused right so to get a star burst of sun aperture 11 to 6 yes you are right deep gana where you place the 8200 in the os picture from the right side uh very closer to the subject couple yeah 
Yogi Raj, uh, I'm mad in love with your pictures. Thank you so much. Archana, amazing pictures. Anna. Thank you so much. Pankaj, uh, lovely creation. Thank you. Okay. So look at this shot. Uh, this shot I shot in the cook. Mm, this one I shot in the near the pool side. Uh, you can see the small strip light, right? So that is a pool pool side. Mm, and one light. This is not a track. This is a pathway towards the pool side. And uh, the I used the light, right? That is a light. Putting a light towards the wall. That is a small restroom back side. With yellow gel. So luckily, I have a, I have a nice cloud on the time. So red cloud. This is not a Photoshop. This is a real sky. Um, I just used a one light setup mm, with yellow gel. That lights towards the wall. In the bottom area, you can see the small tiles. You can see that, right? So basically, the shot I shot in the near the pool side. So I exposed for the sky, then I adding a light behind the subject. That's all. So this is my first fearless award. Uh, this is my favorite pictures. In this picture, so many stories in a one frame. Um, you can see the grandma's hands. And uh, you can see the uh, bride's mom and dad, and the friend. She is a groom's family. I took a multiple shots in the in this place, uh, in this ritual. Uh, but uh, I like this picture because uh, she hiding a face in the off way, right? So something, the the emotion conveys something. Some things are different. Uh, we can easily get to know the this emotional, and also I make it black and white because uh, in the wedding for the emotional situation, right? So we have to make it black and white. Um, in the see, imagine this a color, same picture in this color, so many distraction in the frame. So I that's why I make it a black and white. Easily convey the, mm, the emotions. So this is my first fearless award. And uh, I'll get another fearless award for this picture. So this picture I shot in the natural light. So again, we have to find the light. Uh, you have to see, start seeing the light. And where is the light coming from? Directions, everything you have to see. And then place a subject. So this picture, uh, the light falling through the leaf, through the trees. Uh, so I can get a nice spotlight on the one place i'll just place a subject on over there and take nice shots i just expose it for the eyelids make it everything black in the background you get a nice detail on the jewel sari and one profile view of the bride my favorite pictures so these are the my wedding pictures so next I'll show a couple of studio portraits. So before that, I'll let me go through the commands if there is. Kalevan, what is a fearless award? Fearless award uh, for the wedding photographers. If you're submitting your wedding photos, the basically the award for a wedding photographers. Go and check fearlessphotographers.com. You'll get in so many inspiration you can get to know. Okay. So next I'll show some studio portraits. So this one, this one I shot for the clothing company, Anya Clothing Company. So from Coimbatore. Um, for this picture, I used a, 
I used my music backdrops on the background, uh, and I used a light for Godox V1 model lamp. I did just are using the model lamp only. I'll show the BTS. You can easily get to know. So this is a BTS. I used a only model lamp, and uh, I using the uh, basket for the some texture on the. You can get us. You can see the shadows on the face, right? So that texture I want. So I use that basket. So look at her face. Some of you getting a horror lighted. Some of you getting a shadows. Some patches, right? So that's a kind of effect. That's why I'm using the basket. If I'm using a direct light, I will get a nice light like this. But some of the drama will. something different right so i used that basket sometimes the getting ready time right so there is no time you can usually only v1 model lamp got a nice shots look at this picture uh, i did a backdrop for this picture uh, back side i painted a uh, backdrop for the shoot so for studio portraits so you have to keep in your mind don't complicate it with your lighting setups so just uh, first you have to look at the problems okay um, first you have to put a one light setup and uh, if you getting over shadows on other side that is a problem one so you, what you will do just adding another light for the shadows fill the shadows if you have any if you if you have any separation from the background and subject that is a problem too so you adding a one more light for so that's that's how you have to start adding your light one by one one by one okay um you can shot with a one light setup you can shot two light setup you can shot three light setup but the whole idea is the whole the whole light setup is for solving your problems so you have to look at the problems first okay then adding the light one by one one by one one by one so this shot i will show the bts you can easily get to know look at the bts uh, this is my key light godax 8600 pro uh, with the parabolic 120 pl softbox so this is from the right side and um, background the music backdrops and i i used a small uh, flash godax v860 with yellow gel for the background because i want a little bit warmer tone from the background so i used a light for the background and i'll i'll i used for a v flat so v flat for uh, filling the shadows uh, this is a big board the white place right uh, the filling the shadows for the shadows area and i'll using a one flash for the down because the this is a for shoot for the clothing company right so they want a proper highlighted in the clothing everything is a very important right so so before I, so that time i'll get a more shadows on the this area so that's why i'm using a one light putting on the towards the v flat board i'll get nice fillet on the the dress so basically three light setup one is a key light with a parabolic 8600 pro and one lights for a background with yellow gel and one light for the fill light for the dress so again you have to look at the problem first then adding a light one by one one by one, one by. okay so this one i shot 85 mm so his name is a krishna trilok uh, he is a uh, writer author uh, recently he wrote a uh, a ragman biography book i got a chance to take a portraits of him uh, i'll show a bts the whole idea is uh, i want to create a, some rembrandt painting portraits kind of effect so you can see the picture will get a nice rembrandt lighting for the triangle you can see the triangle right and i'll using a background for the brown it's not a brown it's a hazel brown 
backdrop i'm in the entire theme like is a i want a brownish tone so so for the studio portraits you have to pre plan everything uh, you have to create a mood board um, what is the outfit uh, what is the background what are the light you going to use uh, so everything you have to plan and make a uh, make a mood board then you can easily finish your portraits okay look at this uh, same key light for 8600 with a parabolic that is a key light and uh, that is a v flat so this previous shot i used a v flat with a white side so now i i'm using a v flat with a black side i want a more sh shadows on the other side so i'm just creating a shadows for the other side and one more v1 flash for the shoes small little bit i want to detail on the shoes so i'm using a one flash and another flash is uh, for all the effect v1 flash towards the background pointing towards the background so this is a key light from the right side uh v flat for the creating a shadows from the other side and uh, one flash for the shoe details and another flash for the background for a get a halo effect so again yes look at the problems adding a light one by one one by one same So I use uh, two lights. One is for uh, above from the head, and one light for the background. Look at this picture. For the shot, Godax 80 uh, 8200 with the 80 centimeter octa box. For the key light and uh, one light V1 flash for the background for all the effect, and one reflector for the bottom. so while you placing the light on the hubo from the head right so you will get a shadows on the under the nose and under the chin so i i am just filling the shadows with the reflector that's why otherwise you will get a more shadows on the chin and nose this is called clamshell lighting yes thank you guys uh let me go through the comments if you have any questions you can post it to comments yes you guys i did the painting for the backdrop Asha, I want to paint my some tips, please. Definitely, I will give you tips. Ah, uh, we'll do a separate. We'll discuss later. So clamshell, uh, that's not a clamshell. Clamshell. Um, you know butterfly lighting, right? So butterfly lighting is uh, basically the light placed on the above from the head. basically the light from the top so while you placing the light light uh, you will get a sh strong shadows on the under the nose and under the chin so so that that time you have to fill the shadows you have to use the reflector or some on light on the bottom so that is the clamps so basically the clamp shell when is your workshop now குடி சீகத்துல थैंक यू இந்திரனில் லட்சுமன் கிரேட் पिक्चर्स கிரேட் ஐ கிரேட் டெக்னிக்ஸ் थैंक यू सो मच இந்திரனில் ஸ்மூதி when you doing a exclusive lighting workshop as soon as i am preparing a content smithy so I'll definitely I'll do a workshop in the future. Kadambar, thanks for the guidance. Thank you so much. 
Thank you, Lakshmi. Thanks, Selva. Thanks for coming. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, it was a wonderful experience for me. Uh, this is my first time I'm doing a live. And special thanks to Ranjit uh, for making me do this and the entire uh, Godax team. Thank you so much. Um, we'll see you on next day, any workshop. Yes. Thank you so much.